Hey guys, today we're going to make a one pot ham steak and veggie meal in our slow cooker. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun. Sorry, I'm not used to pushing you around. Bull. <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy where we're cooking up dishes straight from recipes that crock.com, my pretty wife's website, where we do a whole lot of slow cooking around here and today we're going to make what? We're going to make a one pot ham steaks and veggie meal mm -hmm. by the suggestion of one of our crock posse members. Yep, my buddy James Greason mentioned to Chris and said, hey, you know that, that whole campfire chicken thing looks really good. I bet it would be really good with ham. Yeah, so we're kind of changing it up. James is also one of our crock partners mm -hmm. over on Patreon. So we're like, let's get in the test kitchen, test this out, and it turns out this is pretty yummy. So when our investors speak, we listen. <laughs> so here we go. Um, we are going to toss in a head of cabbage, right? Yes, one head of cabbage that has been chopped up and I got kind of a, a smaller head of cabbage, medium sized head of cabbage I guess I've learned because cabbage fills up a lot of your crock pot. Sometimes it falls on the floor. And on me. <laughs> uh, I'll clean it up later. Yep. So we're going to toss that in there yep. um, and then what? The mushrooms? And Let's then? do mushrooms. We're going to, and how much, how much mushrooms? That, that was just one package. It's up to you. Eight ounces. It's, it's eight ounces, just one package of it. If you really like mushrooms, you could use two. But we've got one in the slow cooker already done, and I used a huge package of mushrooms for that. And, well, it kind of mounted over the top with everything else, so I'm going with one package for now. This right here is two zucchinis. And as you can see, I've chopped them up into giant bite-sized pieces. I cut, oh, they're probably about eight or nine inches long. I cut them in thirds, and then I quartered them. And the reason why we want the zucchini pieces to be bigger is because zucchini cooks quickly in the slow cooker. Yes. And notice it's going on the top, not the bottom. You want yeah. that direct heat to go on your cabbage. Yep, so uh, Laurie seasoning salt or regular salt. As much as you want, as yep. little as you want, just to season to taste. And we go, like a lot. Go on. Well, you're going to want quite a bit because of all those veggies in yeah. there. And that cabbage is going it, to, it takes a lot to season cabbage. This is about a tablespoon and a half of minced garlic, and we really, really like the garlic, so we use a lot of minced garlic. If you're going to use regular garlic, a tablespoon and a half is plenty. A tablespoon and a half of minced garlic is actually about two and a half tablespoons. We like it. It keeps the vampires away. <laughs> and that right over the top. That goes in, and we are also going to put some pepper in here just for seasoning. We, we have a fan off camera. Yes. It's, it's because it's summer and we want to keep the flies out of the shot and we figure a fan blowing across is going to keep the flies out. It's also blowing the pepper up my nose. <laughs> this is one stick of butter. Sliced up. Sliced up and just kind of scatter it over the top just like that and that butter will melt down into your zucchini, into your mushrooms, into your cabbage, and then later on into your belly. And then the very last thing is ham steak. I've got four ham steaks. These are just Bob Evans ham steaks that came in an eight pack, which is convenient for us to do two dishes. And I'm going to take a knife, steak knife, butter knife, and cut them in half. Oh, huh, look at that. Now you've got eight ham steaks. And I'm just going to lay them right over the top of all my veggies. Now this is a larger slow cooker so it's going to fit in there just nice. My other slow cooker that I used I think is about a quart smaller and so those veggies were like piled over the top where the lid just fit. It's okay because veggies are going to cook down it'll be alright. Look at that right over the top. Now what's going to happen is the heat is going to cause all the juices and the, the, the brininess of that ham to soak down into those veggies. The mushroom and the is going to soak down into, or the, the, the zucchini is going to soak into the mushroom, the mushroom is going to soak into the cabbage, and the cabbage is going to get it all. The cabbage gets, the cabbage wins. So, <laughs> now no, what you want to do. No, you win, because you get to eat the cabbage. James, you win, because <laughs> we're going to show you all this one. Um, now, what we're going to do real quick is a quick cleanup, and we will show you the finished product. Uh, but what are they cooking this on? 
Uh, <laughs> it, they're going to cook it on the counter, or maybe on this. You don't want to cook it on the Are stove. Are they cooking it on low or on high? They're going to cook it either on low for six to eight hours, or I did ours on high for four hours because your ham's already cooked. Right. All you're doing pretty much is cooking just cooking the down the veggies and letting them soak a little bit. So we are going to do a real quick cleanup and we will show you the finished product in three, two, one. And ta-da, just like that, the front is cleaned up. I still got some work to do in the back. <laughs> but uh, in all transparency, I almost had this turned around like this and it says vanilla sour cream cake. You all know it's been a long time since we've done that. I promise we've washed the slow cooker itself, like the cooking vessel forgot to wipe that off when I put it up. So this is not vanilla sour cream cake. No. This is ham and veggies. And this ham steaks is and what veggies, it looks like. right? Ham steaks, that is right. Yummy. Ooh, and that is hot. And on the top. You got yourself some ham. On the bottom, all cooked down. I got to fling that out on myself. We got some zucchini. A couple pieces there for me and you. See, and they're just big chunks, but if I push down on it, it mushes up real easy. No. So you do want them definitely in bigger chunks. You got your mushroom. Of course, the butter has soaked into that with the salts. I'm making a mess. This looks delicious. Well, I hope so. I put it together. This is a great idea, James. <laughs> Thanks a lot, partner. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to let you that stuff up. I'll eat some of the veggies. Alright, you eat some veggies. I'm going to eat some I love cooked cabbage. cabbage. It's oh. like one of my favorite things ever. I am a big fan of mushrooms, so I'm definitely going to get some of that. Oh! You try to get it in your mouth. <laughs> big target. Mm. I was not going to say anything. <laughs> I know better. <laughs> That's yummy. I like that. And it tastes different than campfire chicken, which is... That's because it's I ham. know it's because it's ham, but it has a different kind of flavor to it. Mm. I really like that. Mm. Hey James, you got any more bright ideas? <laughs> that was good. How's that zucchini? I haven't tried it yet. No. Mm -hmm. The zucchini soft. It's a little, just a little sweet. Mm -hmm. So it adds to the flavor of those mushrooms and that cabbage. And then when you get that salty ham on top of it, that's why you saw we put some seasoning salt on there for some seasoning. But no other salt because you're gonna have plenty of salt in your ham. This would be a really great leftover ham recipe too for like mm -hmm. after any kind of holiday or if you just buy a ham to cook up um, and then you want to make things with the leftovers like you could toss the ham bone in here and you could or just some ham hocks even. This is I like the ham flavor with this. Very good. Hey did you see that? <laughs> this is for you James. Yes. And then in turn, when y'all, including James, would do one of these down below, give us a like down below on this video. And if you have not become a member of the Crock Posse, we don't know what you're waiting on. Click the little subscribe button down below, and you can see me talk with my mouth full. <laughs> You'll be a member of our Crock Potting family that around is exactly here. Exactly right. And there's a little big bell right beside it. Chuck Berry would call that Ma Ding a Ling. <laughs> Ma Ding a Ling. Why don't you go ahead and get. What? Why don't you go. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and click my dang link and then you will know automatically when we put something up as soon as we do. We try to put up a couple videos every week to entertain you and feed me. <laughs> and whatever you do, laugh off it. Eat good food. And speak life. Bye guys. Bye. Hey guys, today we're going to... Oh! Ow! Oh. They were hey guys, today we are going to make a one pot ham steak and veggie slow cooker meal. And we're going to say it really slow. Because I can't remember all the words you want me to say. Hey guys, today we're going to show you how. Today we're going to make a... Okay. Don't make... She's making faces at me. I'm telling. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon link below.